I'm a huge fan of being able to eat the same thing that holds what you eat. <laughs> well, except for that plate. I mean, giant Rice Krispie Treat. Yeah. Here's a random picture of some food and stuff. Uh, some of the ingredients. But, uh, jalapeno kind of looks out of place. For full recipe details, go to HealthyJunkFood.com. Remember, that's healthy, not to be confused with contradicting. To start, we're going to finally dice up our veggies. Uh, this is actually footage from another video. <laughs> it's like, why not? Michael Bay does it. So here I'm browning about two and a quarter pounds of 80-20 beef. You could also use pork sausage, ground turkey, chicken, human. I do need my chili meteor since we're injecting them into bread bowls. I did drain a portion of the grease, but I did keep some in because I'm going to cook my veggies down in the same pan, you know, to infuse the ground up cow fat liquid into my vegetables. My content is quite graphic, so if you have small children around, please ask them to tell the vegetarians to leave. Once we're done browning and draining, toss it into the crock pot. And once your veggies cook down and become translucent, which is a fancy word for translucent, toss them into the crock pot as well. Now for the last part, we're just gonna open up cans and start throwing stuff in. Ready? Chili powder, diced tomatoes, red hot cumin, diarrhea, oregano, seasoned salt, kidney beans, and diarrhea. And a bunch of other stuff too. Cover it up and let it sit on high for at least two hours. Now it's time to make our bread bowls from these awesome dinner rolls I found at Walmart. See that? Baked with pride. At minimum wage. So we're going to start by cutting a hole in the center of this bread here. Uh, not too deep, and not too small, but not too big. Uh, but not too small that you can't put chili in. See, just like that. Now we're going to carefully carve out the rest of the inside to create more room. It's not going to come out all at once, so you're going to have to take little bits out with your hand. But if you're hungry, you can eat these little pieces of bread along the way. Yum! Perfect bread bowl. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and patiently wait for our chili to be done. It's done. If for whatever reason you need time to go by faster, just get one of these. Now fill your bowls generously with your chili, place them on a baking sheet, and top them with some shredded cheese. Oh man, that cheese is everywhere. Let's clean this up. Alright, now pop them in the oven for about 5-7 to seven minutes, and they're done. Just kidding. Let's at least look at them brown. Look at the cheese melting. And that awesome dishcloth. And they're done. Oh my god, these look like little bowls of happy feelings. I want to rub them on my face. I would actually date this food. Like, take it out, wine and dine. We're not done yet. What's chili without sour cream and chives? I guess it would be chili without sour cream and chives. Thank you for watching another episode of Healthy Junk Food. Remember to tune in every Sunday and hit the like button, or else I'm probably going to get discouraged and stop doing this, and then Healthy Junk Food will be no more. Life as we know it will end until I decide to make another video and then realize that I'd just rather have takeout. But anyway, oh yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.